All right, thank you very much, Lab Chicken. After careful research and consideration, Lab Chicken and I have figured out that we need to take this precious little bit of Bob the Third's sheep DNA and put it in a cultivator. That's right, Lab Chicken. So next up, oh, thank you very much for the egg, Lab Chicken. Do we have a Lab, Lab Chick? Nope, not yet. Keep trying, keep trying. I'm sure you'll get there eventually. I'm sure you will get there eventually, but you're not getting out. That's not how this works. <laughs> but yes, so next up, we need a cultivator. Let's see, cultivator. Uh -huh. All right, so we need to go get a cactus green, some glass, iron ingots, and a water bucket. Those are all things I think we can manage. We're gonna just carefully walk up here, jump this way. Vines, I love you. You're so much easier to deal with. And then we're going to start hunting for cactus greens, water buckets. Let's see, bucket, bucket, bucket. Here's a bucket. You know what we haven't gotten in our kitchen yet is actually a stone sink because that would be an infinite source of water. So that is just stone and iron and I can totally handle that. And then we'll get the stone sink going. We should probably have one downstairs too. All right, let's see, stone sink. Is it iron on the outside? I'm running low on iron actually. Oh my gosh, am I really that low? Any other iron? Redstone? Oh, there's some glass. Well, that's useful. We need glass for the upcoming upcoming things. I can't believe I'm almost out of iron of all things. Doesn't that just seem so wonky? Okay. Well, that's okay. Um wait, crafting bench. Wait, wait. Okay. And then we need you. So let's see, let's put down the iron. How many can we make? Oh, we can only make one stone sink right now. Aw, dang, I really need to like get my act together and start collecting some more stuff. Let's see, let's see, cause I am totally out of iron. Well, drat, I guess that means we need to do some good old fashioned mining pretty soon. There's a stone sink. Okay, so we're getting a little closer. All right, get back in there, stone. We also need a cactus green. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Soon, Vine, soon. Man, this is kind of exciting. I can't believe that we might actually bring Bob. What? <gasps> I did not just hear that nonsense. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoops. What the heck was that? Why did I put glass down? Okay, what's going on over here? Okay, yeah, this isn't happening. That's my son. We're not we're not even joking around with that. You you zombie nuisances. Hey, you're a nuisance too. No, get out of here. You can't eat him. That's my boy. The sheep are bleeding their alarm. Boulder, is everything okay? Looks like he's keeping keeping guard. Oh, that's not okay. Boulder, thank you for the warning. He actually was looking this way, so that's why I glanced over here. All right. Noted. We'll light this area up just a little bit more. I do not want Junior. Oh, fudge, Knuckles. Junior! Your neighbors! Carrying a glass, or a grass block, no less. What a monkey. All right. There, that should kind of help things a little bit around here. Check on Junior. See, Junior, I don't know if I can bring you back from the dead. I don't think it works like that. I think it's just sheep, my son. Yeah, he's upstairs hiding. Stay up there, darling. So far, the cloning peppers have not reproduced the diamond armor. Glad we can get it off, though. All right, so back to back to what we were doing. Let's close the gate so no zombies can interrupt us. Oh my gosh, just so much going on. All right, let's see. Definitely want a stone sink. I think right there is perfect for it. Then we're gonna grab our bucket. Fill that bucket up. Yep, bucket's full of water. Where the heck was I storing the honey stuff? Uh, I don't remember, but they're going in here now. Okay, there's that. Then we need cactus green. Pretty sure I have cactus greens in here. No, Major Calhoun, or Captain, yeah, Major Calhoun. I do not have a cactus green in there, nor in here, but that, you'll recall, is why we are growing cactuses behind our house. Hello everyone, how are you doing? How are you doing? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do a try to stay safe. There have been some, uh, hostiles noted along the village borders, or- Oh! <gasps> what do you think you're doing? Oh, we'll get him in a second. 
He's trying to go for our son again, and that is not happening. Watch out, chicken! Oh, jeez, this water's kind of deep, and it's cold! <laughs> it's got ice in it, jeez! Alright, hey you! I don't appreciate your interest in my boy. He can't hang out with a crowd like you. You're too, you're too rough for Junior. I refuse to allow you to hang out with him. Alright, there we go. Put these over here. Freaking zombies trying to... What the heck is that? It's a bird. Being a very weird bird. Ugh. Alright, here we go. Alright, back to work. Whoops. Hello, chicken. Hey, how do I get back in? There we go. <laughs> Couldn't find my way back in. Yeah, you're a silly chicken. Hello, seriously, the penguin. My present from calf, it turns out. Alright, let's see. Next we need to cook the cactus green. Dun, 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 dun. And it just occurred to me making that sink might have used up what we needed to make the cultivator. <laughs> no, we need that cultivator. Why? No, we have enough. Oh, phew. We just needed three iron ingots on the bottom for the cultivator. Then we put this here. Hey, hey. Yeah, that's right, glass. That's what I thought. And we have just enough iron ingots. Wow, I need to go get more iron. That's such a silly thing. I need a smeltery so I can get more iron. That's the thing. All right, there's our cactus greens. All right, there we go. And here's our cultivator. Oh, man. Things are getting a little crowded, a little weird. That's okay. I don't mind weird. Weird happens on occasion. I don't remember where that egg came from. There's just stuff everywhere. Uh, uh, overwhelmed by all the stuff in my pack. Okay. Um, no, not redstone. What the heck are you doing in my... In my backpack red, so get out of here. Okay, let's see. Um, bones go here. That's what I was thinking. Bones and bone meal go in that chest right now. All right, hello, lab chicken. How are you doing? I brought a cultivator. We're going to put it right here. Woo! It lights things up really nicely, too. I wouldn't mind using that as a light source, to be honest. All right, so next up, we need to go get some milk. And that will fuel the cultivator, and we'll see if we can get a sheep embryo from Bob the Third's remains. We're bringing him back from the dead lab chicken. I think this is a good thing. Perhaps we're just mad, but that's okay. All right, let's just throw this lapis lazuli in here because it's confusing me. Grow, my beautiful vines, grow! I need a better way to climb up here. There we go. Yeah, it's better. The sun is rising. Junior is not being eaten by zombies, so that's always a good day. Cow, how are you? I'm going to borrow this. Thank you very much. We must be careful not to spill the milk everywhere because it will start a milk avalanche. That would be a funny way to prank someone, though. Like, leave a giant thing of milk on their door and they open it up. And the next thing you know, they're covered in milk. All right, next up, we're going to put the milk right there. Now we need to grab Bob's DNA. There's a sheep DNA right here. Tuck it right there. <gasps> it's working! I think. Is it working? I don't know. I see something. Do we just wait? Do we just like sit back? Is this how it's- <gasps> It's doing something! Really, really slowly. I think a bucket of milk was supposed to be like the good fuel source for this. Nope, 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 it's going, it's going, it's going. Okay, okay. So it's very slowly cultivating some DNA. Well, that's okay. I can nom on some carrots, and we can work on making this more into a proper laboratory. Because I like what's coming along, but it definitely needs some improvement. It's amazing what having some proper whitewashing on the walls will do. Oh, hey, the vine grew sideways. I wasn't really aware that they did that. Good job, vines. You continue to impress and amaze me. I'm going to grab more sugar. We'll get some stone slabs and we'll put in some walls while we wait to see if we are successful or not with our breeding or our little cultivating of Bob's genetics. Well, this is very exciting. Yay, the vine's growing! Good job, vines. So proud of you, so proud. Oops, why'd I come? Oop, oh, egg! Thank you, lab chicken. Any chick chicks? Whoops, that's a chisel. Nope, no chick chicks. Keep, keep trying, lab chicken. I'm sure you'll get it eventually. All right, here we go. Hmm. All right, let's see. Stone slabs, please. That would be right here. Right here. And we might as well start cooking the massive amounts of cobblestone we have. Because why not? 
We're going to need a lot of stone before this is all done. And it'll help us use up all the charcoal we have. That's actually left over from the old world, believe it or not. That's how long we've had that charcoal pile just sitting there. All right, there we go. Get some stone going. Where should I put glass and things? I feel like I have... That's wood. This is the carpenter's block chest. This is the wool chest. This is the rubber and plastics. That's the uh, gunpowder, TNT, and bone meal chest. Apparently I had cactus dye. That's a little embarrassing. That's the dye chest. Let's see. Here's the sand. You know, we might as well put the glass with the sand for now. Because why not? All right. All right. How are we doing on the stone? Pretty good. Get some stone slabs made. There we go. And then, like this, was it? Yes, look at that. There we go. Paved white stone. It's a very nice, nice backdrop, in my opinion. Nice color, nice texture. I'm gonna open this area up. <laughs> Possibly add in very carefully around the cultivator. The cultivator doesn't always work either, so this is kind of nerve wracking. We don't know if Bob will successfully be cloned from the little a little pile of his DNA. And that was the only piece of wool that we had to use to attempt to bring him back. So now we just have to kind of sit and wait and see what's going to happen. How's it coming? Oh, we're over halfway there. Oh, man, that makes you nervous. All right, take that out. I think we're going to put lapis lazuli in the corner again. We'll figure out if it makes a good accent. We'll try out some different styles. What's up, Lab Chicken? Are you happy I'm getting some proper some proper walls up in here? Yes, I think Lab Chicken's happy. Yeah, we might try a different a different chisel style of the lapis lazuli. Just to see what happens. I really do like that one though. But what about like lapis with ornate layer? Ornate lapis lazuli, chunky lapis, dark lapis. What does dark lapis look like? Ooh, I like that even more because it has kind of a smooth texture to it for the lab. Watch out, lab chicken. Goodness, I know you're excited about the little extras we're adding, but I could really, I could take your little beak off with this by accident. Smooth lapis is nice, but not what we're going for for this particular style, lab chicken. I'm very happy to have your companionship, by the way. I'm sure Lily and Tate would love to meet you. The fancy lapis, if it was silver, I would totally keep. But it's not, so we'll save that for something else. Like a little treasure room or something. Hmm. Actually, that I like a lot. Hmm. We'll try out some different things. Are we almost there? <gasps> it's almost time! 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 Bob, are you in there? Oh man, well if the, if he is in there, then I know what use that sheep that we found just staring in horror at what happened to Bob. I know how that sheep will turn out to be useful. See, but I like the panel the best. That's right, Lab Chicken. You can, you can question me all you want, but... <gasps> Lab Chicken, I think it's done. Please, 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 please. <gasps> it's a sheep embryo! Yes! Okay, okay. Now I have to very carefully carry this to that sheep that's outside Bob's place. Or inside Bob's place, I should say. And I did suggest that, like, I did think, oh, you're gonna be the mother of uh, Bob's legacy, aren't you? But that was just desperation in my voice because she'd never met Bob before. But guess what? She is going to be the mother of Bob's legacy because we are bringing Bob back from the dead. All right, let's do this. I'm so excited. I mean, it's fun enough to try out all the cloning and all the messing around with DNA and stuff, but when it's for a good purpose, as bringing a beloved animal back from the dead, that is just fantastic. All right. All right, we're going to get in here. Yes, old Tal, how are you? How are you? Here's the sheep that has been chosen. Odyssey, you have jumped the fence. Naughty, naughty bunny, I will put you back in. Yep, come here, come here, come here. Uh-huh. Yep, that's what I thought. You want to stay here. I know you were a little traumatized by Bob's passing, but don't worry. He's back. All right. Hang in there, sheep. <gasps> Did it work? Okay, we need a Dinopedia. We need to make a Dinopedia so we can watch the pregnancy advance. 
shouldn't take too long, but it will take a little while, so let us go get a Dinopedia. I totally forgot all about that. Aw, oh, man. Eh. Run, 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 run. I need more of my biofossils and biofuel things. I guess we can keep them downstairs now. We can go catch some- when we get some free safari nuts, we'll have to go catch some of the stray peppers. And the- the stray Christina. Put them all in safari nets. <laughs> and then we can figure out just what kind of clones they are. So let's take all the cloning stuff. The biofossils, frozen meat, the skulls and things. I don't think the skull counts as like a cloning item. But we're gonna bring it all with us. Alright, I'm pretty sure whacking things with this chunk of frozen mammoth leg, for all I know, is probably not the best thing to do. But we're just gonna bear with it. Eh. Eh. There we go. Alright. Yes, yes, hello. How is everyone doing? Gonna need to tweak some things so I can get up and down those vines a little bit better. Alright, and then analyzer. Oi. Analyze. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and have it analyze all the relics. That's kind of painful for me to, to pick because I like having my little collection of relics and biofossils. But we need... In fact, I don't think that's going to help me at all, is it? Ah, oh, just stupid gravel. Because we need the fossils, don't we? How do we make... How do we make... Mm, Dinopedia... Mm -hmm, Dinopedia made with DNA and a book. And to get the DNA... I'm probably not going to need anything from the stupid relics. See, because it gives me... Well, stupid relics, I say. I really love them. Okay, let's swap out the biofossils. There we go. Oh my gosh, this is so cool! I've been waiting to dabble into this kind of stuff, but I wanted to wait until like we had a good handle on what we were doing. And maybe if I change it... Whoa, no glowstone! Why? I forgot it would do that. Oh, I hate breaking glowstone like that. I was hoping... Oh, there's another egg! Hang on, lab chicken. Man, you are prolific with your eggs lately. Doink. Nope. Nope, you gotta stay down here, lab chicken. You specialize in the cloning research. Take those skulls down. Mm, we're gonna take a little bit of glowstone down. I need to go get a book in just a minute. Fern seeds and bone meal. Well, we're kind of getting somewhere. Come on. You can do it. Little bit of DNA. All right, Dilophosaur DNA. Forgive me, Dilophosaur DNA, but you are going to be turned into. And in fact, let's yank out those those rest of the biofossils because I can't keep an eye. Oh, good. See, we have two Dilophosaur DNAs, so it's totally okay. All right, let's put all those away. Skull away. All right, then jump up. Lab chicken, you didn't climb the vines, did you? No, no, you didn't climb the vines. We're good. Eh. Yeah, I need to put something against the back of these vines. That'll be the tree, so I can climb up and down quickly. Alright, so, now I need a book. One book. And then we put them together. Book, 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 book. Dinopedia! There we go! Okay, now we can go and watch the progression. As oop, And let's go grab a name tag for Bob the Third. So that we can make sure... And then Bob's mother. What should we name Bob's mother? Because now we have Bob the Third. And she's kind of brought him back from, from the edge. So Bob the Third resurrected. And then Bob's mother, who we can rename in the future. Whoops. Mother. Come on. There we go. Wonderful. Wonderful. We better not use the name tag till she has the baby. I don't know what will happen. Hmm. And let's take a nap. I think it'll be okay if we take a nap. There we go. Snuggle up in our bread and bring Bob back from the dead. Whee! Okay, very exciting. Man, things you never know what's going to happen here on the zoo. I thought we would be calmly planting berry plants and maybe planting some oak trees over here. Maybe even poking Twilight Forest. But bringing back sheep from the dead was not on my agenda. That's something that the duelist just can't even be prepared for. Okay. already here and following his mom oh my gosh you guys you guys it's Bob the third Bob's mother and Bob the third he's been brought back from the dead 
<laughs> this is wonderful. This is just wonderful. Welcome back, little Bob. Welcome back. You have a whole new lease on life. I bet. I wonder how. Oh, he's hanging out with Odyssey. See, Odyssey, you have a new playmate. Oh, this is so cute. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. Good job, Bob's mom. That was a very quick, uh, quick pregnancy. Very pleased with the results. We have brought Bob back from the dead. Oh, happy times. Happy times indeed. Oh, well, good. Good. That's fantastic. We're going to have to take much better care of Bob. Old Tell is going to get to gardening. Uh, he's got his security chickens, as usual, keeping the lookout. And we're gonna we're gonna spruce up Bob's exhibit. Right now it's pretty good. Lots of overgrown grasses for a growing baby. We'll make sure that uh yeah, look at him eat his little grass. Oh, that's wonderful. We'll have to share him when he grows up so that we can make sure that if this ever happens again we have some backups. But that's fantastic. Yay! The cloning research work. Thank you so much for suggesting that, guys. I guess we can just kind of weirdly take out Bob's memorial chest in the memorial garden and we can replace it with like his parents stuff. I mean I guess we could have a note to Bob third version one. Our sheep are getting kind of complicated. It's amazing. Look at him. Healthy, growing, eating fresh grass. Well that you can just ask for a better ending than that. That's wonderful. And we have expanded our cloning lab and we've done quite a bit of research when it comes to cloning animals too. So all in all a fantastic set of adventures. Good job, you guys. Good job. Welcome to the family. Oh, all right. Whew. Well, that was that was quite exciting and mad sciencing. I'm going to just kick back and watch these guys happily frolic around for a little while. And then I will see you guys again tomorrow for our big Saturday adventure. I have no clue what we're doing. No clue. So it'll be it'll be a surprise, won't it, Odyssey? A big surprise.